Hey folks, Adrian Lepp here with the Online Business Experts. I am a full-time FBA guy on Amazon. I have my own line of private label products. I also am a developer and I build apps that I use to help me uh, dominate my markets and I make them available to a select few people. And this is my newest one. It's called Amazon Quick View. The way you get this is just go to the Chrome Web Store and do a search for Amazon Quick View. And you will see these three extensions right here. These are all mine, but the one that you want is this one called Amazon Quick View. A word of caution, please make sure with any Chrome apps or extensions that w make sure that you are logged into the correct Chrome account or Gmail account that you intend on using before you download this app because this app is going to be connected to only one account. So I am logged into my work with Adrian at Gmail account. Once I download this and install it, if I log into one of my other Gmail accounts, I will not see this little uh, magnifying glass that you see up here with a dollar sign, this guy right here. So when you see this little icon up here in your toolbar, then you know you're good. But if I was to log into another account in Chrome, I wouldn't see this, okay? So please, just make sure you do that because that has caused some confusion in the past. So let me show you how this app works, okay? First, I'm going to just open up a uh, incognito window here, and I am just going to go to Amazon. And I am going to do something generic, like I'm going to search for a dog leash. Now, again, this is basic Amazon. There's nothing here. I'm just going to give you a refresher. You know, there's a sponsored ad. On the right hand side here these are sponsored ads but you know once we get into the dog leashes you got a bestseller here but I have no idea what the ranking is or bestseller ranking on this the sales history I have no idea what the bestseller ranking history is in this I can click on each one of these and I can open them up and then I can kind of scroll down in here and I can find the product details page and then I can see what the ASIN number is. I can see that it's ranked 309 in PET, which is really good. It has 1,200 reviews. But then I'd have to, you know, make a note of that and then come back and then I'd have to click this one. And then I'd have to scroll down and do the same thing. It's arduous. It takes a lot of time. It's, you know, it's not a very good use of my time, energy, efforts, and it's a waste of money. So... I need the information in there. I just don't like having to go through all of that crap to get it. So that's why I designed this app. So take a look at this. This app, as you can tell, again, you look for the magnifying glass with the dollar sign. That means that the Amazon Quick View is working. So now when I go to Amazon here, I'll do exactly the same thing. I will talk, type in dog leash, just like I did on the Amazon account that didn't have the app. But notice the difference. Right away, you're going to see this entire new field pop up here that doesn't exist in regular Amazon. That's these filters and these are functions to sort. Another thing I have is as you scroll over this, notice there is all the information immediately pops up that you used to have to click and drill down into to get, I just make it available by hovering over these. So right away, if you did nothing more than this, you got a, a pretty good advantage right here because it's so fast. Another thing I did is I'm putting right at the bottom of each listing information that you need to know. Here is the bestseller rankings displayed for you. You don't have to click on here and drill down into the product listing to find this information. The other thing I'm providing right here is the ASIN, whether it's sold by Amazon or not, how many other people are selling this FBA, a price history, so you can see how this pro product's been selling over a period of time, and the bestseller ranking history. You can see that it was ranked pretty high for a while, and, and bestseller ranking, the lower the better. So you can see they bounce between three to 500, and you can see right now he's 309. So if it wasn't any more than that, you're already at a great advantage. But now, here's where the real firepower is. We start using these filters, okay? So let me show you how these work. Let's say I want to look 
at dog leashes to sell, but I don't want any dog leashes that have a best seller's ranking above a certain amount. I'm going to say 5,000. As soon as I type that in there, this page automatically sorted through and it eliminated anything with a best seller ranking of 5,000. Now I can go to my sort by and I can say, okay, I want to sort these from lowest to highest. And you see how quickly that changed? With just a click of a mouse, I now have these ranked in the order that I want. This is number 19 in pet supply. This is 153, 309, et cetera, et cetera. And none of these will be over 5,000. Okay. I have this option on here called Enable Infinite Scroll. You can click this on or off, but I have it on, so that means it just continues to load pages as I scroll down. You see? I don't need to worry about clicking on the previous page like you normally do on Amazon. This will just constantly keep loading. You simply go to the bottom of the screen and it's going to keep loading the next pages. So you can load as many pages as you want. You can get as much data on there as you want. And then you can start sorting all the functions however you want to do it. Now notice there's 130,000 results for dog leashes. So this won't go out and render all 138,000 instantly. That would take too much time. You'd be sitting here waiting. So it renders it as you need it. So right here it's rendered 75 of them. So now let's say instead of determining a product based on its um, bestseller ranking like I just did. Let's say I want to know what my competition is based on how many reviews it has. So simply by clicking here, it immediately changes instantly. And now we're looking at these based on how many reviews they have. This has 3,000 reviews. This has 2671, 2635. So you're looking at a completely different data set based on how many reviews they have instead of based on their ranking. Let's say now I say, okay, I don't want to compete with products that are sold by Amazon. Okay, So you can see this is sold by Amazon right here. This, Am this is an Amazon product, this Amazon Basic. So let's say you don't want to waste your time looking at products that Amazon sells because you don't feel you want to compete against them. So if you simply click this box that says Hide Sold by Amazon, every product that was in here that Amazon sold now is being hidden. Now you don't see it. Let's say you say, well, I don't, I don't want to sell anything that's being sold prime. So you can do the same thing. If you click this, every product that has the ability to be sold by Prime is now gone. None of these products are sold by Amazon or sold Prime. So you can see how powerful this is. Now one of the features that I really like is this always on top. So notice normally when I scroll my filter disappears. If I click this always on top, now when I scroll, okay, you see how it's locked there. So now it doesn't move, and I can continue to use my filters further on down the page. So that's just a little nice feature that we added in there always on top. Now, let's say you start going through here. I'm going to just turn this off while I demonstrate this other feature to you. As you hover over these, you will see a checkbox appear here next to the bestseller history. You see that? The box isn't there until you scroll near it, and then it appears. So I can check this one. I can check this one. And I can check this one. I can check as many as I want. Okay. Once I check them, they stay highlighted in that box. So what this allows you to do is do some, you know, download these and do any kind of other research you might want to do. So... I could take these six just like this, however many you want. Then I can come back up to the top of the page and I can say export to CSV. I can either export the whole page or just the one that I'm selected. So I selected those six. I click that. I download it. I open it up and it works just like any other kind of spreadsheet in Excel or, you know, Google, whatever you want to use. So that's a great feature too. The ability to sort by bestseller ranking, highest to lowest, by price. Let's say I want to look at things that are the cheapest. I just click here, and it immediately sorts them. Again, 
None of these are prime. None of these are sold by Amazon. None of them are higher than 5,000, and I've had them sorted lowest. So look, look how quick that is. I immediately have a $2 product here that's not sold by Amazon, not available by prime. Here's my competition. There's the best selling history. Here's the price history. See, you can see, folks, this is the tool that all the top sellers on Amazon have been using to get an unfair advantage against you because this saves so much time, energy, effort, and money, and it really puts you at an advantage over your competition if you're using this. And so you can sort by high to low bestseller ranking, price, FBA sellers, reviews, the rankings, if I, if I don't want to see products that have too many people selling them, I can say, okay, don't show me anything that has more than this many FBA sellers on it. And so it's just a phenomenal tool. You know, the combination of these filters and sorts, the ability to export, the ability to hover over any of these to see what, you know, their values are, just really is a time saver and it's a real winner. This is, we've been dominating with this app. I've been using this app now for a couple of months. I developed it for my own business, and I'm just really doing well with it. I've shared it with a few others, and they're rocking it, and now I'm just making it available to a slightly larger audience. So if you're serious about building an online empire, it doesn't matter if you do um, private label like, like I do. If you're looking for retail arbitrage, this is perfect. Um, if you're doing any kind of uh, drop shipping from eBay to Amazon or from any other online stores to Amazon, this is a great way of determining, you know, what you're up against. So this just saves you a lot of time and money. So if you seriously want to take your, you know, Amazon business or e-commerce business to the next level, you really do need this app right here. It will give you the advantage you're looking for. The app is a subscription app, so you actually pay per month to use it. It's a little under $10. It's $9.99 a month, but after I just showed you what it could do, I mean, that's nothing. You know, if it helps you find one product to sell, that one product will easily pay for a year's worth of this app. We do a subscription because we like to keep these current. We like to upgrade them. We like to add new features to them. We like user feedback. You know, we come up with some of these ideas based on what people have asked for. So we can always add more and more information on here. So a subscription app just allows us to give you the best and brightest information that's out there. Current, we automatically update them for you and we'll notify you if you need to download any updates. So this ensures that you have cutting edge, top of the line equipment. And it allows us to just, you know, build better and better apps that will help us and you. So I just wanted to share that with you. And again, it's called Amazon Quick View, and you can download it from the Google Chrome Store. And um, just remember that to be logged into whatever account you intend on using when you download this, because that's the one it's going to be assigned to. So if you have any questions, my contact information is in the app. And I hope you see the value of this. Most of the top guys are using this right now, and that's probably why they're up there at the top, because this thing really can help you identify the products that are the best ones with the highest profit potential to sell on Amazon. So thank you for your time. I hope you appreciate the app. I hope you use it, and um, look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.